seriously. I don't see why Mom and Dad bother to try and protect me from horror movies and stuff like that if they're going to expose me to something about a thousand times worse. I really wish Mom would stop asking me to go to the town pool, because every time she does, it puts images in my mind that I've been trying hard to forget. Sunday Well, now I'm definitely staying indoors for the rest of the summer. Mom had a house meeting last night and said money is tight this year and we can't afford to go to the beach, which means no family vacation. That really stinks. I was actually looking forward to going to the beach this summer. Not because I like the ocean and the sand and all of that, because I don't. I realized a long time ago that all the world's fish and turtles and whales go to the bathroom right there in the ocean. And I seem to be the only person who's bothered by this. My brother Roderick likes to tease me because he thinks I'm afraid of the waves. Okay, so I once ran screaming like a baby when a little wave splished against my sandcastle. But I'm telling you, that's not it at all. Anyway, I was looking forward to going to the beach because I'm finally tall enough to go on the Cranium Shaker, which is this really awesome ride that's on the boardwalk. Roderick's been on the Cranium Shaker at least a hundred times, and he says you can't call yourself a man until you ride it. Mom said maybe if we save our pennies, we can go back to the beach next year. Then she said we'd still do a lot of fun stuff as a family, and one day we'll look back on this as the best summer ever. Well, now I only have two things to look forward to this summer. One is my birthday, and the other is when the last little cutie comic runs in the paper. I don't know if I ever mentioned this before, but Lil Cutie is the worst comic ever. To give you an idea of what I'm talking about, here's what ran in the paper today. Lil Cutie pointing out the window and saying, Daddy, is rain just God sweating? But here's the thing. Even though I hate Lil Cutie, I can't stop myself from reading it. And Dad can't either. I guess we just like seeing how bad it is. Lil Cutie has been around for at least 30 years, and it's written by this guy named Bob Post. I've heard Lil Cutie is based on Bob's son when he was a little kid. And like, if his son said, If I eat this green bean, will its mommy and daddy be sad? Bob Post would think, Ka-ching! But I guess now that the real Lil Cutie is all grown up, his dad's having trouble coming up with new material. A couple of weeks ago, the newspaper announced that Bob Post is retiring, and the final Lil Cutie is going to be printed in August. Ever since then, me and Dad have been counting down the days until the last comic runs. When the last Lil Cutie comes out, me and Dad will have to throw a party, because something like that deserves a serious celebration. Monday even though me and Dad see eye to eye on Lil Cutie, there are still a lot of things we butt heads over. The big issue between us right now is my sleep schedule. During the summer, I like to stay up all night watching TV or playing video games, and then sleep through the morning. But Dad gets kind of crabby if I'm still in bed when he gets home from work. Lately, Dad's been calling me at noon to make sure I'm not still asleep. So I keep a phone by my bed and use my best wide-awake voice when he calls. I think Dad's jealous because he has to go to work while the rest of us get to kick back and take it easy every day. But if he's going to be all grumpy about it, he should just become a teacher, or a snowplow driver, or have one of those jobs where you get to take summers off. Mom's not really helping improve Dad's mood, either. She calls him at work about five times a day, with updates on everything that's going on around the house. Stuff like, what Manny did in the potty. Sheesh. Tuesday. Dad got Mom a new camera for Mother's Day, and lately she's been taking lots of pictures. I think it's because she feels guilty about not keeping up on the family photo albums. When my older brother Roderick was a baby, Mom was totally on top of things. There's pictures of Roderick's first time trying peas, Roderick's second time trying peas, and Roderick's first steps, which led to Roderick's first time.